My voice may be gone, but I'm still sticking out weekly videos, baby. Andrei Zuovsky's hidden sci-fi horror gem possession is one of the most intense experiences cinema has to offer. It's also one of the most mind-meltingly confusing too. It follows the breakdown of a marriage, where the wife abruptly moves on to a new relationship and the husband, in turn, then falls in love with a doppelganger of his wife with green eyes. The resulting fallout as they fight over custody of their child, struggle with new relationships, and the wife's increasingly erratic and bizarre behaviour is sheer lunacy. It's really difficult to describe what happens. You want me to believe her? Oh, yes! A monster! A fool! I fuck her on with everybody! Whenever you turn her on! I fuck her on with everybody! I want on every daughter! You will let me go! It's led by a tour de force performance from Isabella Ajani. She dominates the whole movie whenever she's on screen. It's an Oscar worthy performance, and dare I say it, one of the finest in horror cinema? She's so soft spoken, but her eyes threaten to reveal the dark secret that she truly carries, always bulging and keeping your gaze in a trance, like Stephen Merchant's eyes. Eyes bulging with imagined riches. She can also be extremely warm and loving when playing her doppelganger. The film would make me despise her one moment and the next feel sympathy and long for her just to answer my questions. It's definitely a movie that stirs up multiple emotions inside of you. <laughs> Sam Neill is also cracking here. He really captures the guy's psyche slowly bending to breaking point, and his frantic yet driven performance makes us root for him to find out the truth. The entire first part of the movie isn't even a horror film, it's simply watching the breakdown of their marriage and it's so uncomfortably believable. They argue like a real couple, losing their temper and trying to come to terms with the fact that life isn't going to be the same. She had an affair and then left without a word, the fallout was always going to be enormous. No one is good or bad, but if you want, I'm the bad one. And if I knew he exists in this world, I would have never had Bob with you. The wife is secretive to a T, and this is what drives the husband's paranoia, making him take drastic actions for both his sanity and for the safety of their child. And this is where the film swings into horror territory. Her freakish behaviour involves her oozing a variety of colourful fluids in a show-stopping three minute long seizure. It appears she has a miscarriage in an underpass, but it's nuts, she just goes apeshit the entire time. She also harbours a strange alien creature in her house that she feeds to people and mates with. Yeah, the film gets damn freaky, but I'm not going to spoil anymore. You never learn what this thing is, and there's a variety of unexplained phenomena littered throughout the movie. Characters often speak in allegories you don't quite understand and take such wild actions that it's honestly difficult to know just what will happen next. Hell, the entire climax will most likely confuse a ton of casual film goers watching it, it's just so far from where it all began. And the very last scene still bothers me to this day as to its intentions. I've seen this film many times and even I only have theories and hunches as to what I was witnessing. This is the perfect flick to watch with another movie lover, then afterwards discussing your thoughts and dissecting scenes, seeing what it meant for each of you. It's definitely a film I often look up theories about online just to see what other minds have taken from it that I might not have. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? The atmosphere keeps in line with the feelings of paranoia and insecurity. As the film continues, the characters themselves can scarcely understand what's going on, and that fear translates straight off the screen and onto us, the audience. It's hard to sell this film as it's such an enigma, but I'll give it one last go. Possession not only contains one of the most visceral breakdowns of a relationship seen on film, but it also gives a stunning metaphysical portrayal of the emotions that come from the trauma that accompanies it. It's a must-see for fans of artistic cinema. How was that?